channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Makeup Revolution's new collaboration. Well, not very new. It came out probably like a month ago. <laughs> it's called the Makeup Revolution X Brats Lip Crayons. It came with four different shades, one lip color for each of the characters. They're running for $10, so it's really affordable. This is vegan, cruelty-free. They're supposed to be ultra pigmented, really comfortable on the lips, and really creamy all at the same time. So today we're going to be testing them out. We're going to be trying them on. We're going to see how pigmented, how does it feel on. Is this actually worth picking up especially if you are a Bratz fan so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything of course will be linked down below you guys already know the drill here please don't forget to like share and subscribe let's dive on in and try these on and off with Jade this is described as a rose pink tone lip shade and I absolutely love the undertone to it I love the color of it I feel like you could never go wrong with a rosy lip shade in your collection especially a nude lip color just because I feel like they go with everything it looks really effortless you can wear this day or night and it just complements so many different skin complexions by the way this glided on effortlessly on the back of my hand I didn't have to use any amount of pressure trying to swatch it on it feels really hydrating and I personally feel like it reminds me of a lip swatch of a lipstick for some reason, it just feels really hydrated and very pigmented. As uh, so for the packaging, I absolutely love it. I love that it has a holographic print all around it. The little handle top to the lip crayon has little kitties and a holographic print as well as Jade's name on the side of the packaging. The lip crayon has a nice fine point to it that you can use to line your lips. And I absolutely love it. So that definitely saves us, you know, a little bit of money having to purchase a lip liner to complement this lip crayon. So let's go ahead and dive on in and try on Jade. Next is Sasha, and this is described as a soft, a peachy, warm tone brown lip shade. And to be really honest, it's a really pretty lip color. I personally really love it. It has like a terracotta kind of undertone to it. I feel like when it comes to terracotta lip color, blush, I absolutely gravitate towards it. So I'm really excited to test this one out. I feel like this is really nicely pigmented. It's not bold, not too bold, but bold enough. And you can easily get away with this and wear it during the day or night. It's definitely a really beautiful color that I can actually see myself wearing as well in the fall winter time just because it's giving me like the pumpkin spice fall vibes that I personally really like and so far it's been really really creamy swatching on the back of my hand I haven't noticed any patchiness or any feathering or anything like that and by the way the little handle to Sasha has a cute little like bunnies all around it which I personally think it's so cute so let's go ahead and try on Sasha to lip shade number three. This one is called Yasmin. This is described on their website as a rich, deep, mauve tone lip color. And to be really honest, I was expecting it to be more of like a everyday type of lip color. This one is definitely more of a bold statement, more of a bold lip if you're trying to go out for the night or if you just want to set the tone for the day. <laughs> I definitely feel like this is a really good lip shade to make a statement. Um, I personally really love the undertone to it. It's very different than anything I have in my collection. So far, again, it's gliding on effortlessly, which I'm not surprised. As of for a scent, let me see if I pick up a scent. And to be honest, I don't pick up a scent on these lip crayons so so far there is no scent but the packaging is super cute on this one the handle has little frogs with a little crown big old eyes it's just so cute I personally love how each of the lip crayons they're all very unique and very detailed I just think it's really really adorable so you guys let's go ahead and try on Yasmin shade this one is called Chloe, and this is described on their website as a warm pink 
brown tone lip shade and I personally love this lip color you guys I feel like out of all four lip colors this one is the most wearable lip shade out of all four just because it's a perfect everyday type of lip color that you can kind of just throw on you look put together it goes with any eye look or at least in my opinion you can kind of get away with any eye look and anything that you're wearing it just looks really effortless on and it has a neutral undertone that I feel like it will complement many skin complexions which I feel is a really big plus like I feel like you can never go wrong with the nude lip and as of for the packaging I personally think it's really cute on the handle of it has two little angel wings and a halo which I feel like they did such a great job to personalize each lip crayon so far to fit the personality of each of the characters in this collection so let's dive on in and try on Chloe. trying out all four lip crayons. Let's go ahead and talk about them. I want to start off with the price point because I feel like they're really well priced for $10. I find it to be really affordable, especially if you can use an Ulta coupon, then you will definitely save a good amount of coin, which I'm really excited about. I love Ulta. And as for the packaging, it's really cute. I love the packaging. Very playful and fun. It's still simple, but they did a really great job with the holographic detail that makes it really personalized for each of the characters and just gives us the full like Bratz fantasy. And I feel I feel like they picked really beautiful lip shades for this collection, all really wearable lip colors. Someone will find something that they will like in this collection, I feel. And I feel like they just did a really great job. So, so far, I really love it. The formula, you guys, is really, really nice. It glided on effortlessly on my lips and even swatched in the back of my hand. There was no patchiness, no feathering, and you can definitely layer this on without any effort. Like, you don't have to worry about any feathering or anything like that. It feels really lightweight, but still really moisturizing all at the same time and I love the finish on my lips I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that um, and as for the scent there is no scent to it, which is a big plus and I really love that it's vegan and cruelty free if you guys have any questions whatsoever comment down below ask why I'm always here to help and if you guys have any video suggestions as always comment down below let a girl know I'm always looking for video ideas everything of course will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys all in my next video I love you guys so so much. Bye.